split kit. I can't kit. find the words to describe that without saying bollocks. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on what is probably a changeable afternoon here in Lincolnshire. We're back with the Audi A4. It's my 2000 plate B5. And if you haven't seen the previous video on the channel, it's been off the road for a year or two and it's just gone out of MOT. Dad has done as usual with us and has done a few pre-MOT checks on the car. And aside from freeing up the braking system, there wasn't that much wrong with the car. The main thing that we've spotted, however, was that the CV boot on the offside here had just eaten itself. It deteriorated and perished. It wasn't something that we could do on the same day as us doing our pre-MOT checks, owing to the fact that, well, I didn't have the parts in stock. Um, so I've been on eBay, I've been to Car Parts in Motion, who are one of our go-to parts suppliers, and ordered a Febby Bilstein kit. If you've got a 1.6, 2000 plate B5, you need part number 15842. Be careful, however, though, because there are different versions. The 1.8 uses a different kit, as does ones above the 1.6. The petrol 1.6 different to um, all the others. It's cost £16 and it came next day with free delivery. In this video then, Dad and I are going to fit the new CV boot to the car. He's been on Autodoc, he's had a watch of the video and worked out how to do it. Should be a relatively easy process and hopefully it doesn't rain. Good afternoon. Yeah then Gromit. How you doing, all right? Growing up in the world. <laughs> um, the Audi A4 CV boot kit, it's arrived. We're going to have a look at the actual kit in a moment. You've been having a look online at doing the job. Just quickly talk us through the job. Are you happy that it's going to be an easy one? or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, is it take everything apart and put it all back on or is it yeah, a... Uh, just take bits off, mate. Take some bits off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what we've got to do then. While you're cracking off the wheels and getting that on, I'm going to look at the kit. I just need to crack this off first, son. Oh, that's the centre bolt. What, yeah. Why have you got to crack that off for? Well, I might as well do it now. I can look my it up in the air, unless you're going to be putting your foot on the brake. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's the centre bolt that goes into the hub. Um, I'm guessing you're removing the hub then to do that, to do the job. Oh, OK. So it's got this big, sort of like hex. It's a giant Allen key. Allen key on the end there, good. So, so top tip then, crack that before you get it up in the air. Okay, so what's in the kit? Well, uh, it is a Febby Wilstein kit, as I've said. You, of course, get your CV boot, which is there. Uh, put that there nice and safe. You get the grease. There's quite a lot of grease in here, 90 grams. Do the job. You get the clip there. You get these other little clips and washers some information and that big bolt that dad's just shown us you get a replacement center bolt as well really important make sure you put your axle stands in don't work on anything without an axle stand remember safety first the last thing you want is something big and german on top of it so now we can see that center bolt here in there and that's the replacement one that we've got in the kit whilst we're here also we're going to be easing off these brakes uh, like we've done on the other side on the pre-MOT video. It is quite grufty under there, so we'll give that a good old clean up as well. It's certainly uh, seen and fared worse this side than it has the other. Hey, your uh, bike's open. Have you been out on your bike? Your bike's squaddy look. Oh, where it is dirty actually, where have you been? Well, I went to Maybo. Yeah, nice, to your villa in Mablethorpe. How did that go? It's a nice little ride, I just jumped. The sun was shining, so I thought. So I jumped on my bike and went for a ride and it was raining at Spilsby. Oh no. Are fish and chips at Mablethorpe? No. Oh dear. Never even got off my bike. Well at least you had a run. I sat on my bike to take the picture even. Oh yeah, you sent us a picture. We'll have a look at that now. It's, That's really corroded, yeah. yeah. It's all grotty. Good job we're doing this then, eh? Well it's a good mess actually, isn't it? So it's going to be pad carrier off, caliper off, disc off, and then we can see the rabbit. All sorts of blooming rubbish. I was surprised. Right, off comes the caliper. That needs a good old clean. Yeah, just be 
careful with that, Peter, because I don't want to damage them ABS wires. We're going to hook that up out of the way Hopefully. with a Z clip. It's the wrong spanner on it. And before we put it together. Oh, hang on a minute, you've taken all that off now, look. So, pad carrier's off, pads are off, uh, disc is off. Now we can see what's going on here. It is really quite rocky under there. Definitely something we're going to have to sort out. Just take the weight off that there. Yeah. Take the weight off that bolt at the top. Top arms need to come out of here. We've replaced one on the other side. So that nut comes off there and then this bolt comes out of here and these pop out. Now we can see the old CV boot. <laughs> you can see just how well knackered it is. It is absolutely no good. And it's been like that for quite a while actually. There's been quite a bit of ingress in there. So we've got a bit of a problem to sort out. Look at all this sort of congealed grease. Ugh. Hey? That's that one out. that bolt to push it out. Yes mate. That's a good idea. Hopefully it's come out now. Hopefully my friend. I don't want to take the trouble end off. Oh do dog pushes it round the back. There it is. Yes. It must be round the back like auto dog did it. So you managed to get that out of there without removing the track rod end by yeah, taking it at the rear it? there. Bit of wiggling, eh? Yeah, and you put this back in there. Yeah. God willing, or any other person who might help. No, 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 no. So you're going to screw that back into there. Yeah, that pushes on the end of the drive shaft. Yeah, and it'll push the boot out. And if we put the machine the right way. Pushes the joint off. Yep. Oh wow, there you go, look. Now we can see. In there, we don't lose that. It's that bit. It fits. No. Fits in there. Yep. Or has it broken off? No, it fits. It's on that spline somehow, does it? Yeah. In like there. That. Oh, now I see. And we'll put that back on there because these bits will be getting changed in a bit. We'll put them there so we know where they are. So, what's that piece that you've got now in your CV hand? joint? So, that is the CV joint. Yeah. Um, it's got all the ball bearings and grease that's in there. Right. We need to make sure that that's not clicking, I'm guessing. Can't do a lot with it, you can't tell really. So, we'll just give it a good old cleaning. Yep. And see what happens. And a greasing. But, yeah. There's the old boot. No good. No good. That's really bad. Really bad. Off comes the clip. Oh, balls. Right. Need a different rope. That's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's going to take some cleaning up. That is, matey boy. So that's just all old grease, is it, on there? It is. It's and it's sort of baked on, isn't it? Yeah. All congealed. It's not expecting a spring ring there. It's not. It's a flange. Right, so there's a spring ring there. We should be changing. What are we doing first? Cleaning this up first. That's the CV joint. That's right, mate. In fact, what we'll do with it is we'll have it chucked in here while we clean up your end. Yep, that's sort of a solution of 
It's just spirits and stuff, is it? We'll just give it a give it a jiggery pokery around in there. Just let it soak for a bit. Let's go have a scrat at your end. So you're scratting that off there with like a flat knife. Johnny, well done, mate. It's the sort of thing you've got to get clean, is it? Yeah. Be a bit of a... Interesting. So it is exceptionally uh, rusty under here. Surface rust, but it is rust nonetheless. Something that we are going to have to look at and treat in the future um, with the Tetra Seal and the Rust Killer, etc. But for today, let's just get it through an MOT. It's not a solid dish enough. Oh, thinners. Getting the big boys' toys out. You could use an ultrasonic cleaning tank there. Uh, we don't have one of those, do no, we? No, I'm fresh out on them. <laughs> so we're having to use a filler pot with some quite a, quite a good solvents in there. I've just had a good long inhale of the solvents and decided <laughs> now's a good time to buy more cars. Oh, the angle grinder's come out. What are you going to be cleaning up? So you've cleaned that uh, shaft up. Hmm. Come up okay? Aye, better than it was, mate. I'm just doing the useful stuff while that soak, that it's CV cleaning. joint's soaking. You're gonna clean the uh, disc off now? Yes, mate. Mind your eyes. So you've cleaned that up, how's it looking? Uh, I'm, still, I'm still cleaning Gromit. It's rusty under there, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, something we need to deal with. I'm assuming rust like that is not an MOT fan. No, mate. No. Um, so the actual CV joint is getting cleaned. Is yes. it coming up all right? It's in the ultrasonic tank. <laughs> That's the next thing I'm going to buy you. You need bother, I've got enough clutter. Ultrasonic tank. No, don't need it. I'm gonna just give this a yeah. bit of a clean off with that wire brush. Nothing I do to this can hurt it right now. How's that looking? It's just patience is a virtue, dude. But is it cleaning out? Yeah. Good stuff. As you can see, I've uh, knocked quite a bit of rust off here. It would be absolute lunacy for us not to treat this while we're here uh, and get that rust off there. It definitely needs doing. Always make sure you hoover up your car when you've finished working on it. And there it is, nice and cleaned out. What's next, what's the plan? So, so you've removed a little metal clip off there yes. and you're putting a new one on. What does that clip do? It holds the uh, CV joint on. That fits against there like a cup washer. It's a new thing coming to kit. I have to warm this tinker up. 
So it slides onto the drive shaft with the clip. Make sure you get your clip on first. In it goes. Keeps that tight. On goes that washer. On goes this spacer. Conical face outwards. Now it's time to grease your joints. So the grease that comes with the kit, is that sufficient? Supposed to be. And yeah. it's just a case of getting it all in that joint, right? Let's get it around your... Uh, bearings. Bearings, yeah. Make great catapult balls, these do. They do. So, it's put a bit on and then use the end of a extension bar to, to change the joint the way it faces. Yeah, well, I and just to spread it all the way around. If you watch Autodoc, he checks it all to pieces. Do you think that's necessary or not? As far as I'm concerned, I might get the bearings in a different place. I think I'd rather let them stay where they've been happy for the past 20 odd years. So you've packed that in there with your fingers now. Yeah. And now just to put the excess on there. You use the whole tube of stuff, yes, right? Yeah. I want to get it all in. This is a DIY job though, you could do this at home. Yes, mate. Just get it all in. Keep pushing it in, keep working it in yeah. until you've got everything in there, right? So clean this off because you've got a load of grease on there, your blooming boot plays up and you can't get it to stop on properly. So now time to fit that to the car. So yeah. all greased, but clean the exterior, right? I'll put some tape over there so when I'm fiddling about, I don't get all... Grease on there? No, dust on my splines. So God willing, it goes on top of that clip. Because that clip holds it on, yep. that locates in there. So we just get it so it feels right. We get our soft hammer. And it should go with a... A pop. Did you hear it? I did hear the pop. That means it's on, does it? Yes, mate. Excellent. I was trying to take it off, but you heard it, didn't you? That's I did what hear I was it. Listening for. So that little pop is that clip locating inside the joint. Yes, mate. Handy to know. Yeah. So if you hear it pop, it's on properly. Yeah, can see it. It's on. It's not going anywhere, that is it. And then now to put the boot on. It fits nicely on there, doesn't it? It's a good kit, isn't it? Better than a lot of rubbish I've fitted in the past. So you, I could have got a split kit, yeah. which was advertised. Just talk us through a split kit. I can't kit. find the words to describe that without saying bollocks. Okay. <laughs> so no good? No, they're absolutely worthless. So how do they work? You put it's, them round... It's got like a seam in it and you clean it all up and you super glue it together. That is bollocks, isn't it? So you don't you know, take it to pieces, supposedly. Yeah. But for the sake of doing it... No, it doesn't work, mate. They don't no work. Good. They don't last five minutes. Top tip. This is the best good idea, and I don't know whether it matters that much, but you see that tag that's going to be stuck up a little bit? Yeah. You want it sort of it's turning that way, so if it picks any bits of grass or out up, it doesn't hook in too much. It's not, it doesn't really matter that much. Top tip that, I like that. It doesn't matter that much, really. Grass and cat hair. Just to stop it from collecting stuff. <laughs> yeah. Whether it matters or not, I don't know. It needs to come a bit tighter yet. I may have to go away and clean my hands. Sadly, it's just started raining, uh, but now there, let me show you these. There's some special pliers to do this job, which is to put that clip on. Let's just show you that. There they are. Check, check it's right before you go too far. So the way they work is they hold on to the silver tag at the top and they pull the ring closer so you can it hook it on. It. Crimps it on there. Good. Right, get the inside in the right place. So there's a right and the wrong way to get that inside in. I'm guessing you don't want to get it twisted. Mm -hmm. There's sort of a, a groove it fits in, look. Which is all corroded away. It's there sort of thing. And that stops it from sliding back and forth. Yeah. That's nice and tight. Right, well it's in the right place. Right, so the tape's come off the end there. 
just to stop me getting a load of crap on it when I was putting it together. Yep. And where have you just put all that white grease? Just put it on the splines, mate, so. In goes the new bolt. It's just holding it all together while I piss about with it. So that's ready to put back together now, I'm assuming. Yeah. You need the jack? Let's get it in a minute when I've got that going in a bit further. The bolt that we've replaced, could you reuse the old one? Or is it like a stretch bolt? I'm guessing it's a stretch bolt, seeing as the supply in the flipping kit, wouldn't you? So you I'm could reuse the old one, but best uh, practice. I bet you could get away with it. Think about the times you get away with them ones on the smart cars. Best practice though to use a new one. It must be, seeing as we give you one, isn't it? In goes the suspension ball joints. That's 46 newts, isn't it? Yes. We'll Time to torque them bolts up. Did you say it was 46, didn't you? Yep. Okay, Gromit, let's have that cup of tea then. Cup of tea time. We'll do that when we've got the wheel on. I've, I've, I've nipped it up, such. Don't put copper grease on the flange. <laughs> on goes the uh, brake. If you think this. about it, that wants to be as tight as it can possibly be, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so If you that's... put a microscopic layer of grease there, it's not going to be as tight as it can possibly be, is it? Dad's referring to the auto dock video, which was really helpful in showing oh, us shows how, how to do the job. How to do the job. However, uh, the man there slathers everything with copper grease, doesn't he? Including it's bonkers. Included you must have shares in copper grease. And he even put it on there. And I was told not to do that from being an apprentice. What on earth is that you've got there? It's a sack. That's <laughs> a big old corn sack. What are you doing with that? It's a sack. Sack. It's next to Mike Terry. It's a sack. Where on earth have you found that? One of Mum's friends had got it on a plant sale at the church. And my, ah. I can remember them from when I was an old boy. It's got a squirrel on it. It's storing his nuts. <laughs> it's had a few repairs in its yeah. life. Look, one, two. Well, we used to tie them up. That's how the fashion them up was to tie them up. How old do you reckon that is? In the 50s or 60s. Cool. Fair enough. Imagine that full of corn on your back. Right, so we've had a cup of tea. I've had some soup. Yeah, it'd be a 12 stone one, that one. Well, that sack. Yeah. When, uh, my dad, when my dad first started, there used to be 18 stone sacks, then they dropped them to 16, and then they went to 12s. That's a lot of corn, isn't then it? Then they went down to 8, on, eight, eight, eight stone, you know, yeah, 100 by They had They had the 4 stone. Right then, shall we finish this job? I think that's a jolly good idea. It's a shame it's raining now. It's spoiled, it's spoiled the enjoyment, it's spoiled the ambience. On goes the pad carrier. It does look a bit better, yes. Pads are gone back in, calipers going back on. Needs a good old clean when we get that on. And hopefully, that's the end of the job. So we've got that all back together, we've tested it, and you're not happy? No, it's, it's not, the piston's not going back enough for my liking. Pistons. So we're gonna take it in the shed and have a good clean off, eh? Can you see? Yep. It's not going back as well as it should. Still binding? Yeah, it is. I think we ought to have a look at that, my old mate. What could be the problem there? Hopefully it's just a bit of piston cleaning required. That's all right. So there's the piston in the caliper there. What have you noticed? There's a, it's not coming off as well as it should. Yep. So, so I've just got to be careful because this brake cleaner tends to rot them, make them seals go squidgy. That caliper's not winning any uh, concourse awards anytime soon. Uh, well isn't. Now's not time for smearing jam on it. What's that red stuff? It's rubber grease, mate what you put on them when you assemble them. Ah. Oh. I've learned something. Uh, 
Back goes the piston. That's being wound back. Cleaned off some rust in there. Is it going back any better? We're going to find out in a minute, son. Soon find out. We've tested that. It seems. And it seems better, right? I like to think so. Good. Like Let's put it back together again. See what happens. Tighten everything back up. And then to put the wheel on. Everything's tightened up. That caliper has been wire brushed off. Now time to put the wheel back on. I'm sorry that it's a bit wet. Yeah. It's just spitting a little bit. You did say it was going to rain. Yeah, my telephone said so. Right, now to tighten the hub bolt. It's 115 Newton meters torque setting plus 180 degrees, that's why you've got your uh, gauge there. So that's quite tight, that is. Can you see it? Yep. About 90. Yeah, about 90. About 85. Keep going, you're at 30. And keep going, zero. On goes the centre cap. And that is job done. How did that go? Not a horrible bit about it was the rain, wasn't it? Yeah, it's taken us about an hour to do that. Um, put the new CV boot on, do all the brakes, have a cup of tea and some soup. It's gonna be an MOT pass now, hopefully, right? Yeah, I think so, mate. As part from tidying up, what's left to do? Yeah. Early, early, early bath. Early finished. Yeah, we've done all right. Thanks for that. No, we've got it out of the way, haven't it? Jobs are good in. Can't see anything else we have to do on the B5, though, no? We'll soon find out, shall we? Sounds good. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we checked it over. Just that CV boot and the brakes, wasn't it? Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah, well, it's uh, just nuts and bolts, isn't it? Nuts and bolts. Not bad for an hour's work this afternoon. You've just got to be careful where you get your blinking information from, though, haven't you? Else you could finish up getting the wrong information. That is true, yeah. We uh, originally talked the hub bolt to 156, and you said, that doesn't feel right. It didn't feel tight. Uh, because it's a stretch bolt, and then we checked out the actual settings from Autodoc for the 1.6, and it was 100 and, was it 115 plus 180? It didn't make sense that the supply a new bolt if it's not a stretch bolt. Yeah, so just double check that, make sure you get all your facts and figures. Anyway, thanks for your help. I enjoyed it, Gromit, I enjoyed it. Well, there you have it then, about 45 minutes to fit the new CV boot and then 15 minutes working on the car, easing off the front brake as well, which we did the other side and it, it did need doing for MOT. Something that you can do at home DIY, um, my dad made it look easy, didn't it? But I'm sure in an afternoon it is something that you could do yourself, following the instructions online and hopefully following along with this video as well. What's next for the A4? Well, it's MOT time now on Monday. We'll be videoing that as well, so hopefully it's gonna be a clean pass. And then on the channel, who knows, lots more adventures to come with the A4s. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already liked the video, please consider doing so if you found it helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It really helps us to tell YouTube that you guys like watching the videos and hopefully other people can find what we're doing. And comment down below, what do you reckon? 16 pound well spent? Uh, is it something you've done yourself? Or maybe it's a job that you now need to do on your A4 and you found it helpful. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.